Hey, good evening, Jerry. I'm Church here. Just wanted to get one last video off of this book, The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. Uh, it's chapter 13, almost the last chapter. But uh, basically what he's talking about here is do what successful people do or the, as a question it says, what do successful people do? So uh, this, is, this is just a brief summary. There, there are like 11 points in his book about what successful people do. I'm going to cover seven of them here, and the rest of them will be in the blog. So you can read the blog below, and you can uh, get the, the gist of what he's trying to get across to us here. But as I read the book, you know, we do what successful, unsuccessful people do. And we've heard that all of our lives. Successful people always do what failures don't like to do. Our successful people always do what unsuccessful people fail to do or don't like to do. So what it really means is we take the initiative and do what we know has to be done even though we may not like doing it, but we do it anyway. And number two is we don't look for shortcuts in anything that we do. We're always looking for opportunities, but never shortcuts. When we don't have the lottery mentality, we have the winner's mentality, and we, we always are looking for opportunities, but we never look for shortcuts. Does that make sense? Number three, we never blame others for anything that goes wrong with our business, and we never blame circumstances for what could go wrong with our business. So blame is not a word successful people use. Fourth thing is know how to close the gap from where you are to where you want to be. So there's always a gap from where we are to where we want to be as a success. So a su successful person has studied to know what they have to do to accomplish the things that get them from point A where they are now to point B where they want to be. So number five, focus on the positive outcomes and outlook. So we never look at something like it's going to be a failure. We always look at it as, a, as if it's going to be successful. Or otherwise, why would we do it? We want it to be successful, and therefore we're expecting it to be successful, and we always look for something to be successful in everything that we do. Then we, in number six, we acquire knowledge, constantly acquiring knowledge. Successful people are constantly growing. They're constantly reading books, and as Jeff says in here, read 10 pages of a good book every day. And over a period of a year, we have read 3,650 pages. And in a year like this year, we have read 3,651 pages, right? Because we've got a leap year. Okay, and, um, or actually be 10 pages, wouldn't it? Uh, become aware of who we hang out with. Successful people are always aware of who they're hanging out with and they never let people pull them down. They're always hanging out with people that are lifting them up. I had a friend that worked with International Paper and she said, you're either a balcony person or you're a basement person. And a balcony person is someone that always reaches down and lifts other people up to help them in any situation that they're in. And a basement person is always reaching up to pull somebody down from where they are. And it's sort of like crabs getting out of a pot. And you've heard the story over and over, is uh, you put one crab in a pot and that crab will crawl out of the pot. But if you put multiple crabs into the pot, they're gonna be hanging on to each other and pulling the other one down. So we don't wanna be hanging out with people that are pulling us down. And then, on down, he talks about number 8, 9, 10, and 11. So there are four more points in here that are really uh, great points that you need to read about. But one of the things we need to do, and Jeff talks about the penny doubled every day for 31 days in here. And he says if you take that penny and double it every day for 31 days, at the end of 31 days, you're going to have over $10 million in the pot. And, and what he's really trying to get across to you here is that you've got to start someplace. You've got to pay the price. You've got to start with that penny in order to 
double that penny. So don't be afraid to pay the price to get into your business. Don't be afraid to pay the price to pay for tools that you might need to, to grow your business. Don't be afraid to, to reach out and buy a product or use a product like a Weber to build your business so you can collect email addresses so you can send emails to them. So you've got to invest in your business and basically what he's pointing out here is be willing to invest to get into your business and then the most important thing is to show up and be accountable for what you're doing in your business. Not only show up is get started, get started in that business. So with that, I want you to just read the blog because I've got the other four points, eight, nine, 10, 11, other four points in the blog that I want you to read. And I've also got a link to uh, Amazon where you can buy the book here if you want to buy the book and read it. It is excellent material. And if you just read 10 pages a night, Within a couple of weeks, you'll be through with this thing and you will have gained so much knowledge. So with that being said, hey, good night. It is 20 minutes till 12 o'clock, midnight. Hey, good night.